Hey Doomer Monkeys, it's November 5th. This is an informal conversation I'm going to have with all of you, catching you up on my own personal life and things happening around the world. First and foremost, also an announcement, I intend on producing a video as a reminder to my audience and any newcomers how extremely dire the situation is us approaching two degrees above pre-industrial averages what that means for us as a species on the planet and so i have a script written out i just need to rent some time at the studio make it a somewhat produced project video where i run through essentially a spreadsheet i made uh, calculating how much percentage of the population would be affected by various calamities including extreme heat drought food short water shortages etc and the quick and short of it is in case you won't get to that point or you choose to not remain subscribed though my audience is very loyal and, and across the world that means a lot i know if i this is our tribe i know i had to do this to connect with you guys the short and skinny is that um, half, I hate that phrase, f at least half the world popu po world's population, if we approach 8.5 billion by the end of this decade, if we're still here, if we somehow make it past the 2026-2027 breakdown of global industrial civilization, um, at that point, it, it'll be so intolerable, and there is some overlap, I understand, but and this is an average of the world, some places affected more, some places less, but fact of the matter is, at least half the world, or 54%, something like that, of the world's 8.5 billion population would be uh, living in hellish conditions and or inadequate um, everything. I mean, we'll be scrambling across the globe, uh, humanity, for adequate shelter, water, all of it. Um, it is the, you know, the comet coming down. The clock is ticking, etc., etc. So that video is going to take a moment. I've already written the script or, or started the rough draft and I made the spreadsheet, but um, that could take another, I don't know, week or two. It took me a little bit of time to make my uh, this is why we're toast video, which is my headlining video. It's got like only seven over 700 views. Um, uh, and yeah, I just had lunch just a moment ago. So I'm a little drowsy kind of, um, yeah, I, uh, the daylight saving time too got me messed up. I think this is the last time that we're doing that. Uh, we're also voting on marijuana legalization here in Ohio next week lot on the line. I mean, this week was was monumental with that paper's release and um, Israel advancing advancing on on Gaza. They're fighting in tunnels, essentially, just like it's the modern day Vietnam and all over. And they're not going to win unless they demolish these tunnels, which could take months or years. And, you know, whether you define it as a holy war or not, it certainly has religious background and implications for, you know, we can't agree on anything. Uh, and zooming a bit out, you know, the possibility of that enlarging to a larger conflict is obviously on the table. Um... In addition, I just heard that Russia has successfully tested their first IC nuclear-powered ICBM from a submarine way off in the waters, 3,000 miles away, it hit its target. And I see these images of what a nuclear blast would look like to cities around the world. And it's like, it's like out of that anime, Akira, you know, it's just like completely demolished, you know. And that all goes to say this video I would be producing, the title is going to be 
this is how screwed we are from climate change. Let's run some numbers together. It's very simple. I just take what the IPCC said in 2018, which, guys, I know is outdated, not taking into account tipping points. It's just a low resolution, bare minimum of what we can expect, you know, occurring to us, not to include, as I'm speaking, nuclear wars and pandemics and other geopolitical conflict and election. And I mean, the dude has 91, 91 federal counts of criminal case. You know, he's a criminal and he's running like this. This is so bizarre right now. It is so unprecedented what we are in having this old man against this old man and they're either one of them could die up until the election or get arrested but he could still be elected from his that's happened before still get votes from a jail cell like it's it's straight up from looney tunes like we're in some weird ass world you know and i'm out of this mexican restaurant last night he likes some Mexican food, not Tex-Mex, Mexican. And this family behind me is talking about their wardrobe. And this kid works in IT and is like, last week, you know, it went from 70 to 30 degrees. So, you know, I never know, like, I don't have a certain jacket I have for certain times. Like, just clueless morons and kids yelling and screaming, throwing their chips around. What was it, Travis Barker just had... Another baby with Chloe. All of it is just like... Dude. Dude. So, I know you guys... I just put a poll, like, if you like where you live and, like, 6 out of 10 people don't. You know. We're, we're witnessing this just insane circus show. A, a completely divided country. Like, I just went out to this boomer restaurant for lunch and, like... A family restaurant, you know, with just old people like, yeah, we have a firearm in our front thing. Welcome to, welcome to Fremont or welcome to Fairmount or whatever they live, you know, some country town. Forgot the name. Like, gonna go home, hang out with the dogs. And then you go to the other side of town, and you see like homeless people everywhere, crackheads. Some woman at the at the food truck had like her whole life in a big plastic bag, like her whole life. You know, just dragging it along. It's like... Straight up, can we not say that everyone is straight up insane right now? And uh, the polls are showing, like, most Americans do not, don't see this country heading in a favorable direction. So I've gone through all the scales of Doomer, you know, people remind me, oh, we could have... I'm a full-spectrum Doomer, like, I see it all, obviously, I talk about it openly. And, and being alone... You know, obviously this community means the world to me, but like for any average Joe, like being alone, if you're not affiliated with a religious organization, then you just numb out. You just like start falling into drugs or something like fixes, you know, you just keep looking for fixes because it doesn't fill the need. People, I think I heard a quote, like people who have no meaning in their life pursue pleasure. And that's so true. They fill the void. It's all about filling the void. And we started to learn this in the tw in the 2000s with the consumerism culture. Like, what are we doing? You know, filling the need for family. And I think that's why a lot of people have kids. Like, I go through my Facebook profile of, like, Facebook, like, look at people you may know. And, like, old high school friends. And, like, them and their kids. Like, multiple kids. Like, some of the hottest girls. Like, multiple kids. It's like, because they just can't be alone. Most people just can't be alone. It's too much, you know. So they just pop them out to have family. But all that's has no future, right? And look, I think back on like some, some of the most like attractive, that I found attractive women in my life just passing by and it's like, or I see them in the car next to me. I'm like, oh man, how much I would love to be, you know, cuddled up with this person her this one person but then i like get run across couples who are just together and without family without kids and something about unless they're really down to earth or have a certain personality like a really specific personality that's like both of them are really laid back and chill like they butt heads you see them fight 
in public or they put up this front online, you know? Obviously, I'm heading towards an intentional community. And I'd recommend all the men and women in my position or in a similar position of being just atomized as a nobody in this culture to seek out community. This is a great start. It's not, it doesn't obviously fill all my needs. I, I haven't hugged or shook someone's hand in over a year, you know, and I know that increases my stress. I have another friend that, that, that I'm talking to that, that has a has his family member dying and he's experiencing grief or trauma by association and to be comprehending and processing the bigger picture of what I just opened this whole video up with is is civilizational breakdown, right? And then you can go through the, all the numbers of, look, I'm not getting down that rabbit hole, soil degradation, and Arctic melt, and, you know, it's tipping points, all this stuff, like, I'm not going down that. It's, the general direction is going to shit fast. Yeah, being alone just heightens your stress response, like a rat in a cage, just isolated. And it'll start f like stressing more. I had to buy new shoes because I have this foot problem. The shoes, the New Balance shoes that are like Docker recommended, are like $180. They like look, they look decent. They look good, right? A normal pair of shoes, uh huh, right? $180. The inserts, orthopedic inserts that that doctors recommend, Good Feet, Super Feet, or something, they're like 60 bucks. I spent. $250 on a pair of shoes for my, just to feel better, okay? I mean, this country it is so, everything is so fucked right now, you know? We're so divided and like, it, it, it feels like, it feels Twilight Zone, surreal. But I still take care of my health. I wake up, I do about 40, 50 push-ups, some, sometimes 100 sit-ups, wall sits. I take care of my fitness. Like, I'm, I'm confident. I can hold an AR up. It's like, like nine and a half pounds. I can run a mile if I really had to. I'm more than that. Many more miles than that. But this giant experiment that we're doing and that this paper this week shedding light on how Headed for a 4.8 degree world, like is this a, that's a is it a joke? Is this comedy? <laughs> Already two degree world. Let me tell you, I did the math. At least half the world's population, with some overlap, perhaps less or more, is going to be in intolerable conditions. Okay, toast. You know. But are you following Jesus this closely? Let's pray before our meals. You know, go home, sit with the dogs. Till the kids come over and watch the sports ball game. Go throw the ball. Throw the ball. Let me go to the shopping mall. Mm. Just the insanity, stupidity. And I, I, mean, I can tell you personally how many women I've met. I don't even know how they exist. And men in this culture are just, uh, you know. Like, how do they do their taxes? How do they drive? Like, they're not even... Are they still alive? There's so many questions I have. How do we allow these types of people People with, like... You know, the IQ here is like 100 on average in America. This, this version of humans is, like... <laughs> toast with meat sauce on it is done. Dunsky. All right? I said a lot here, and I know... If like you're a band member, a musician, or older men might watch my content and like, who's this? What's this kid talking about? I'm 34, okay. John Lennon was like 34 when he made his biggest hits and died. Like Bruce Lee. I get it. At this point, you start to realize like, damn, this is one just not giant, and especially now, circus shit show. It's the and people ask how you doing. I need to really regulate my response now. It's difficult when you want to, you know, how you, how you doing? Oh, another day, just going, day by day. Oh, that's all you can do. You know, it's just like this pointless, like, mm, bullshit conversation, filler, you know, unless I'm feeling, and I start feeling uh, all this, all you guys relate with around the world, no matter what language you speak, like where you're from, uh, you know, 
how you doing? And like, oh, surviving the end times. And then, <laughs> like a nervous laugh. You know, I saw this graph recently. I'll, I'll wrap this up. I saw this graph recently. Not graph. It's a, it's a little Doomer comp sketch, you know. It's a little picture graph. And it's like, you've probably seen it. It's like, here's the degrees at which, you know, we're screwed. Like, oh, it's not real. Climate change isn't real. Or uh, we still got more time. You know, it's like the limits to each one. It's like a person pointing them out. Like, oh, you know, science, they're trying to backtrack. Like, oh, this is the point where we get to this point. I'm like, when is it, when is it get, get fucked? <laughs> and someone replied, uh, that was a few years ago, I believe. <laughs> Little little doomer humor, right? Gallows humor. And keep it important. But yeah, guys, China just confessed like it's not allowing Taiwan uh, independence, like not allowing it, no matter what, you know. And this wider conflict in Israel and this election, like, but the Boston, the New York Marathon still goes on. They just crossed, you know. And people are still arguing about abortion rights. People are protesting on the streets about abortion. Like, yeah, it is like that video someone sent me. It's like everybody's like, huh? What? What's this? You know, where's that? This thing? No, that thing. While while the whole planet just goes in the toilet. But Grand Thumb has some good videos about how to evade in the cities and hide in the wilderness. I think his father was like some weapons person so of course what you expect you know t-rex arms same thing kid probably landed on a ton of money from his parents everything is what you expect cities are what you expect people are what you expect people don't work hardly work up from their own you know while everyone is just fighting record inflation bidenomics was just made up just some made up slogan that backfired let it all burn and someone sent me some cool metal music recently. I don't really like metal that much, but I like the song. All right, this has been a vlog, November 5th. Time change, had lunch, a little loopy. Do monogamy, does not monogamous, are men supposed to be monogamous? Are we getting anywhere? Yeah. All right. I'll make that video. It's going to take me a minute. Let me know what you want to see. I'll talk to you later. See ya.